Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at peak and RMS values of voltage and current. So let's get started. Now, it says here that in an AC supply, the values of voltage and current are continuously varying. And this is something we've already seen. So the values usually quoted are the equivalent values of a DC supply that have the same effect. These are known as the root mean square, i.e. RMS values. We can think of an RMS value as being a sort of average value. And we say it's another name for the declared value that we saw in figure 5, which was in a previous video. So this one here, where we saw the declared value, was about 70% of the peak voltage. So we're saying that that is also called the RMS, or root mean square value, of the voltage. And we have two relationships here. One is relating the peak voltage to the RMS voltage, and the other is relating the peak current to the RMS current. And you get both of these relationships on the relationship sheet in the exam. So we have that V peak is the peak voltage measured in volts. VRMS is the root mean square voltage measured in volts. I peak is the peak current measured in amperes. And IRMS is the root mean square current also measured in amperes. Lastly, it says to note that the peak values of voltage and current are greater than the RMS values. And that's because root 2 times something is going to be the same as roughly 1.4 times that thing. So the peak values should be greater than the RMS values. And that kind of links in with our picture here, where we see that the peak values here are higher than the RMS values. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.